Hey guys, John here. It's another episode of All the Dungeon Master. Kind of going on the, uh, I think it's called Run Some Errands. So I, might, I just thought I'd shoot this video on the go. And as you can see, it's a beautiful snowy day here in Scranton, PA. And I just wanted to talk about a topic that's been going around the internet. And it's about when by failing in RPGs. Um, this is an interesting concept. Uh, it's kind of the idea that, uh, kind of through sheer role-playing, that a player rolls the dice and kind of, or doesn't roll the dice, and he just says, I, I fail. I'm gonna fail my attack, fail my skull check, whatever. So that's cool. I like that. Um, it's kind of got a sense of, you know, you know, it's the players throwing kind of a, me making their own difficulty in setting in RPGs, which I like, and I think I might start kind of throwing that as a player around when I play in games. And, uh, yeah, no, I like that. Uh, Sam 7 RPG had kind of an interesting idea uh, for this, where he had kind of a rules-like kind of rule that was, uh, you know, a player has a certain percentage of success of the time, a certain percentage that he will either succeed or fail. That's another interesting idea, you know, he used 80% in this video, but, you know, you could, given situation, you could make that 50, 40, 70, you know, you could, 90, you, you can up the ante as it be. Another idea, kind of that game changer, which I really like, because it kind of adds a new dynamic to role-playing games. And especially in games like D&D, where that kind of mechanic isn't really seen all much. Um... So yeah, cool idea. A lot of other uh, guys who uh, had this idea brought up uh, the fate system with fate points and how, you know, that's a mechanical thing in the game where you get a point and, you know, you can either choose to take the failure or spend the point, point and, you know, use things to your advantage, that type of thing, you know, encouraging characters to have flaws, you know, like being, or role playing being, you know, a wanted criminal or whatever. That's cool. I was thinking more just kind of stuff that I do to throw wrenches into the into my players' wheel wheels. Um, like in my Thieves Guild game last summer. Oh, summer! How warm thy sun is. <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, Anyway, my Thieves Guild game, yeah, I mean, I had a, a play, one of my players hidden shadows in a dark alley, in, in an alleyway of the city, and I had him get punched out by another rival thief. Um, that in itself kind of created kind of an interesting dynamic of, you know, other people watching. Because, I mean, the party had already been in a combat at this point, and... You know, basically, I had a combat within a combat <laughs> conception or whatever. So, yeah. So, yeah. You know, and it just it shifts up the dynamic. Now, however, this whole idea of winning by failing can only be used situationally and really depends on the group. If you have a group of really hardcore narrative role players, it works. But otherwise, if you just do a dungeon crawl, it, kind of, it wouldn't be a classic dungeon crawl, it wouldn't work out. However, there are ways that it can, I mean, you could do it, you could scale it. But anyway, yeah, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter. Uh, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the matter of, of this and kind of examples from your games and other ideas. Um, but anyway, yeah, as always, I'm John. It's been another episode of All the Dungeon Master. Uh, hope it's warmer where you guys are than where I am. <laughs> And, uh, happy gaming!